I am Goddess Isis. Beloved ones, greetings. I am so filled with love, ready to embrace you with that love as I share so important points for you to consider on your way to ascension. You have so much within you that you are now discovering that is the biggest acknowledgement of all, is it not? For you to ascend, you need to be able to be within to be able to be still, to be connected without distractions and in control of your ego. Not a hard task, dear ones. You have reached the point of being involved enough to be the master of your being. So breathe that in. Place your left hand on your heart. Inhale. Deep inhale. Feel it. Experience. Exhale. And be it. Now take the chance that you are being offered right now and look into your eyes in the mirror of life. What do you see? Do you see a shadow or a bright sh light shining back at you from the depths of your eyes? Where does the fantasy leave off and the reality begin? Are you not that which you see or are you that which is so incredibly bright that you are blinded to the truth of who you are? I invite you this day, my dear ones, to see the depth of who you are. Be not afraid of what you see when you let yourself explore the inner workings, those inner workings of your being. Does it not feel wondrous when you access even a minute portion of that which you see and feel? I invite you to call that in in the next times for with that inner vision of who you really are and what your capabilities are you'll be able to surpass even the mightiest of swords yes you are capable of surpassing anything that your outside world can bring to your throne you can overcome all that does not feel in harmony with your inner being. And you can do it in a way that does not push against that which is knocking on your door. You can do it by accessing that inner strength and softness and allowing it to lead you into the outer extremities of your world. In doing that, you can change the way in which you live and breathe in that outer world and it will be effortless. You can begin now to change and live that image. You can find the way of life that you desire and every time something comes knocking on your door with a word of caution or calamity 
all with the opposite of what you desire, you can tell that knock that you are home in a different way and you can allow it entrance only once it has wiped its feet and left its burden outside. You had that right and that power of creation for you and me. I come to you today in the light of the love that emanates from all that is pure and simple. I show you the inner workings of yourself and I mirror to you that which you are capable of. When I do that you see the representation of which I speak, it is yours to see and yours to live. You make the choices and in that truth, dear ones, you acknowledge that whatever comes from that choice is what you live. Take your choice, see what you choose, extends to the one with whom you come in contact. In their eyes you can see your reflection and when you do, you are seeing all that you create in the image of all which is all one. So breathe that in. Believe it. Experience it. And be it. Yes. So now be the stillness. Beloved ones, there is no way you can force or make your mind and body to be at peace. It takes a certain intellectual comprehension of this very fact and determination to commit yourself to a period of time, say 20 minutes or so, and just to be still in faith that there is this spiritual dimension of yours that can swell forth. Yet what you will perceive, dear ones, in allowing yourselves to be more spiritually sensitive this way, is to place your hand on your heart and sense a spiritual presence. It's being able to suspend your other activities and feel this increasing value, just sitting still, feeling your breathing, letting your thoughts go where they want and observing them. As we have said before, this is that nearly almost ungraspable quality of life itself. You suspend all the ego-driven feelings of yourself as a distinct being and begin to treasure just being alive. It is within this context that spirit can make its presence known to you just the feeling of an increasing presence within your mind. As if a background to your thinking is swelling forth something that has always been there. And now you are just beginning to be aware of us. Yes. Finally, your mind will still be thinking for certain it is not holding your mind a blank. You will just notice a slowing of thought and then a deepening and broadening of thought. You begin to understand why before you 
were aware of this completeness, you were so driven to do things that cause so much pain and anxiety. But with your meditation adding to this feeling of completeness, you begin to discover the real continuity of your life. So, beloved ones, you simply have to schedule your stillness times. Like anything else in your life, set aside a certain amount of time. We generally suggest soon after you wake in the morning. Sit down for even 10 minutes to start with because it is a fine way to begin a new day. This is a time for rethinking about what you want for the next phase of your life. You are exactly where you're supposed to be. Otherwise, you would be somewhere else. <laughs> Take a look at what you have become and acknowledge that you are in a state of constant change and evolution. Your feelings are a guide for your awareness, so pay attention to what you're feeling about the situations you are encountering currently in your life and the people you who communicate with on a regular basis. This is a time for letting go of the past beliefs and seeing your life from a new set of mythological eyes. What is your passion in life? What is your bliss? And are you following what makes you joyful and happy? The simple formula is if you only do the things that make you happy, then you become happy. It is that simple. But it takes courage to go after the way you say you want to be. Many speak about what they want, but few truly follow what they say they want. Words spoken by you daily determine a great extent to the kind of life you live. So what you think inside your thoughts also determine the life you experience, you live. So breathe it in, experience it, and be it. Beloved ones, pay attention to what you create and realize you are responsible for your life. Don't blame anyone for anything because there is nothing to blame when you know that life is a miraculous gift of the divine. How can you criticize or blame the ultimate gift? That is not you. You are the gift. This reminds you that you are not alone in the world. But it is because the mirrored selves that you encounter in your life remind you of who you are. So breathe that in. Experience it and be it. Beloved ones, this is a time to celebrate the personal growth that has brought you a new beginning and a time to take advantage of the present opportunity. So to make an impact on how you finish the year 
Yes, you can put yourself right where you want to be. Family plays an important part in your life and the more you're able to embrace everyone as family, the more aware you become. If you choose to spend time at home, do not do so at the expense of staying in touch with others because it is important to stay connected. You feel a wave of Morpheus coming over you and this intense awareness shows you the way to a better understanding of yourself. Learn from an easy exchange of ideas with someone special and have an open mind. Leisure time is rare so enjoy it while you can. Nurture what is important for you and make sure that you are clear with what you convey to others. You may even feel a bit lethargic, but in time you will snap out of it. So beloved ones, this time of the year that you shine the most is fast approaching. To be best prepared, organize your life to better benefit from a hot summer, depending of course where you live, that promises to lead you in a new direction, a direction ultimately leads you back to yourself. Romance is wonderfully flirtatious flirtatious, an inviting stage and intimacy beckons. If you are in a committed relationship then this is a sublime moment to bond with your mate and to experience what love is truly about. The love you take is equal to the love you give, so be a generous spirit. Make this a time for personal awareness for what you want from life. You're preparing to make a major decision and the planets support you as long as you understand life is about change. Yes, the force of creation is with you. Relationships may be the focus. So think as you speak and you'll be better off especially if it comes from the heart. An adventure from out of the blue is welcomed to help you understand yourself from a different point of view. Your words have substance when you think with your heart. So breathe it in, experience it, and be it. So beloved ones, this is a year of expansion in your personal life. Will you let go of a relationship maybe that no longer serves you? If you are having problems with a family member, be sympathetic, forgiving and compassionate for that person is truly suffering. A turning point for you is on the horizon so listen to your heart and let your destiny lead you to the best of what life has to offer. You are instrumental concerning a dispute with a friend who needs your guidance and support. People get in touch with you from the past and it is a welcoming surprise. This is a busy time for you to learn to say no. You can't satisfy everyone, especially if you aren't taking care of yourself. So find some time for you and don't overload your schedule. Worrying about anything solves absolutely nothing and only hurts you. Love rather than worry, it is more effective. So share the love without expecting any 
nothing in return. Give it freely, dear ones. It does not cost a penny. It does not come in a diamond ring or a brand new car. It comes with the breath of life that comes from your spoken word, that comes from your hands, from your heart, even from your thoughts. So breathe it in. Experience it. ones it is in this relationship that you build within self and with God that you are suddenly freed up now the great creators upon planet earth suddenly realizing that no longer do you have to stress and strain against anything but only give it love there is no need to try to change your neighbour. There is no need to change your family member. Allow, just allow for them loving allowances for them. And shall we say, why don't you go ahead and beat them to the punch? Punch <laughs> and give them love. Be the first one there in your heart. Be the one who is courageous. Be the student of divine self and bring that to the surface. Be the one who is willing to go into the leper colonies as in the old and in your mo modern world as well and be willing to touch the leper's feet to clean them of the stones. Yes, use these kind of compassion that you trusted lightworkers, spirits, to strive now to reach far beyond the confines of the earth, body and mind, and to now be fully expressed upon the earth as divine spirits, true lightworkers, you are working to understand the language of love that is the language of heart. Yes, breathe that in. Experience it. And be it. Beloved ones, all that I have shared with you today are simple qualities of love on the journey of ascension. So live these days in excitement, in, test, in anticipation. Live these days as the free, holy, innocent child who is free of restrictions, knowing that as you walk, each footstep is guided knowing that each breath you take is divinely blessed and goes forth to do that which is intended to do, to spread light and love. Breathe it in, experience it, and be it. I am Isis, at your service and call always with love and thank you for spending this time with me today. Namaste. And I, Rosalie, also thank you for spending this time listening today. Namaste.